Britain's worst ever fishing disaster took place at Eyemouth, on the Scottish borders, the old county of Berwickshire, on the 14th of October, 1881. Eyemouth's fleet of 46 boats took sail that morning. There had been warnings of a storm, but what they encountered was closer to a hurricane. As the weather worsened, four boats managed to make their way back into harbour. Another two came ashore, were wrecked, but the, the sailors survived. The fishing fleet was composed of a number of covered ships, but the majority were open. In their desperate attempts to return to the harbour, many found themselves forced onto the Herka rocks, where their ships were destroyed and the sailors were drowned. Many of the boats capsized within sight of the shore, but given the conditions, there's nothing that could be done by those on land to rescue them. At the end of the day, 26 out of 46 boats had been lost, the total of 129 sailors drowned. This left behind 78 widows and 82 orphans. After two days, the storm had blown itself out, and remarkably, one boat, the Aerial Gazelle, sailed back into harbour, all its sailors safe. It had taken the decision just to weather the storm at sea rather than attempt to return to the harbour. This memorial celebrates the 78 widows and 82 orphans that were left behind. They are arranged in family groups that are linked to the boats to which the sailors were attached. People were generous in recognition of this disaster and the funds raised to help those who were involved in the tragedy came to four and a half million pounds in modern terms. A memorial to the 129 sailors lost stands in a small park in the town. Its shape is designed round that of a broken mast. William Spears was a local sailor who was strongly opposed to an unusual tax known as the fishing tithe. This was imposed by the Church of Scotland upon every boat in the harbour. By the time of the disaster, the tax no longer existed in a roundabout way, it's linked to the reason that the fishing fleet that day took sail.